morning everyone! How are you today? This is Teacher Ronald and I am your teacher for Health 6, Quarter 2 and Module 2. Welcome to our lesson for today. Today, we will discuss about living in a helpful school and community. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the effect of living in a healthful community. Before we start our new lesson, let us first review our previous lesson. Write agree if it describes the effect of living in a healthful school and community and disagree if it does not. Number one, motivated children to learn. Number two, unhealthy and sickly children. Number three, harmonious relationship among learners and teachers. Number four, an environment that will develop children's self-esteem and sense of belonging. Number five, a child experiencing abuse and discrimination. Number six, children playing safely and without injury. Number seven, children free from illnesses and diseases. Number eight, children who cannot interact with each other and cannot move freely. Number nine, learners with developed sense of trust and respect. And number ten, have created positive attitude towards learning. Now let us check your answer. Number one, agree. Number two, disagree. Number three, agree. Number four, agree. And number five, disagree. Number six, agree. Number seven, agree. Number eight, disagree. Number nine, agree. And number ten, agree. Since I know that everybody is ready for our new lesson, let us fasten your seatbelt and relax. Living in a healthful school and community promotes a happy and healthy life. The community member's health is a result of a healthy environment. A healthy environment can only be achieved if everyone is responsible and doing their part as member of the community. Below are the characteristics of a healthful school and community environments. What do you think are the effects if you live in a healthful school or community? As learners, you will enjoy the effects of being in a healthful school and community by experiencing the good physical environment and psychosocial environment. The characteristics of healthful school and community environments for physical environment Number one, safe Number two, clean and good quality of air and water supply Number three, aesthetically pleasing And number four, flexible spaces For the psychosocial environment Number one, warm atmosphere Number two, healthy interpersonal relations. And number three, free from abuse and discrimination. Here are the effects of living in a healthful school and community environments. For physical environment, we have safe environment will keep the children away from harm and danger. Then, Clean water and good quality of air will make people healthy. Safe drinking water will make people free from waterborne diseases. For psychosocial environment, number one, a welcoming and friendly environment will not motivate learners to go to school every day. Then, Harmonious relationship among teachers and learners will help the learners feel comfortable and safe in school. Another effect of living in a healthful school and community environments for physical environment, 
we have good quality of air is healthy for our respiratory system. There will be no more respiratory diseases like asthma and pneumonia if air that we breathe is of good quality. Lastly, aesthetically pleasing environment is good to see. A clean beautiful environment gives a good feeling. And for the last effect of living in a healthful school and community environments for psychosocial environment, we have an environment that is free from abuse and discrimination will make the learners feel valued, respected, and secured. Look at the two pictures below and answer the following questions. This is picture A and picture B. Here are the questions. What can you say about in picture A? How about in picture B? Number two, can you explain the difference between the two pictures? Number three, can you tell which picture shows a healthful environment? And number four, which environment would you prefer to live in? And why? Here are the effects of living in a healthful school and community. In column A are the characteristics of a healthful school and community. And in column B are the effects of living in a healthful school and community. Number one characteristics under physical environment is safe. The effect is, if the environment is safe, the children are free from harm and danger. They enjoy and play safely without injury. They will feel safe and secure. Number two is clean and good quality of air and water supply. Clean air and water in school and community will keep the children away from illnesses and diseases. They will live a healthy and happy life. Number three is aesthetically pleasing. An aesthetically pleasing environment will motivate learners to be ready and open to learning. Learners will feel happy to be in school. It will inspire them to participate actively in class and will improve their academic performance. Lastly is flexible spaces. In a school facility like a classroom with enough space will allow children to learn comfortably. For a wide playground, children can play, move and interact freely with each other. Here are also the effects of living in a healthful school and community. For column A are the characteristics of a healthful school and community. And for column B are the effects of living in healthful school and community. Number one characteristics under psychosocial environment is warm atmosphere. A warm, welcoming, and friendly environment will develop a sense of trust and respect among learners. They will have a positive attitude towards learning and will refrain from among being absent because they enjoy staying in school. Number two is healthy personal relations. Healthy personal relations will lead to positive interaction among learners and teachers. It creates harmonious relationship and promotes spirit of camaraderie. Children are motivated to learn and attain positive learning outcomes. For the last characteristics under psychosocial environment is free from abuse and discrimination. An environment that is free from abuse and discrimination will lead into a positive attitude that will help children develop their self-esteem and sense of belonging. Children will feel valued and accepted for who they are. And now, here is your activity. 
Write yes if the picture shows an effect of living in a helpful school and community, then no if it does not. Do it in a separate sheet of paper. Number one, water pollution. Number two, safe environment. Number three, abusive environment. Number four, aesthetically pleasing environment. And number five, healthful community. Let us check your answer. For number one, is no. Number two, yes. Number three, no. Number four, yes. And number five is yes. Another activity, match each characteristics of healthful school and community in column A with its effect stated in column B. Number one characteristics of healthful school and community is clean and good quality of air and water supply. Number two, safe environment. Number three, free from abuse and discrimination. Number four, warm atmosphere. And number five, flexible spaces. Let us check your answer. For number one is D. Number two is E. Number three is A. Number four is B. And number five is C. Another activity, complete the table by writing at least five effects of living in a healthful school and community and five effects of living in an unhealthful school and community. For your assessment, write true if the phrase or statement tells about the effects of living in a healthful school and community and false if it does not. Number one, positive attitude towards learning. Number two, poor academic performance of pupils. Three, children enjoy and play safely without harm four increased absenteeism five children are open to learning six children suffered from illnesses and diseases seven disturbed pupils during class eight Children love to stay in school. 9. Lack of focus due to crowded classroom. And number 10. Children feel valued and accepted. Let us check your answer. Number 1 is true. Number 2 is false. 3 is true. 4 is false 5 is true Number 6 is false 7 is false 8 is true 9 is false And number 10 is true For your additional activity Write what you have learned about the effects of a healthful school and community environment by completing the table below.
that's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for listening. I hope that you have learned a lot from our lesson. Again, this is Teacher Ronald, your Health 6 teacher. Bye-bye!